Hi, today we are going to be looking at a new type of questions from the Math AA, which is the Approach Analysis Syllabus, called a proof type of question. So they're pretty simple proof. This is something that's fairly new to the IB Math Syllabus. They didn't really ask the students from math standard level or high level before to do a lot of that. So there weren't a lot of sample questions like this. So we're going to take a look at one of these simple ones. So it's a two part question. First part asks us to explain why any integer can be written in the form 4k or 4k plus 1 or 4k plus 2 or 4k plus 3, where k is an integer. So the first thing that comes to our mind is that they're not asking us to show anything other than to just explain. So what that means is we just need to hit some keywords. First thing I notice is that they're asking us to write in terms of 4k. So why 4k? 4k means that we're looking at multiple four. So things like four, eight, 12, 16, so on and so forth. But obviously that's not every single possible number. Now if you look at number five, for example, I can see, ah, if I can't multiply into four, I have some kind of remainder, in this case one. So the number five can be written as four times one plus one. So that leads us to understand that the question is basically saying that all the numbers if it is not a multiple four, then when we divide by four, it has a remainder of one, two, or three, and that can be set for basically every single number. And that's basically what IB is looking for. They just want you to understand that you can clearly see the way they want you to represent these numbers as some kind of multiple four, or when it's divided by four, it has a remainder one, two, or three. So anything that is in line of mentioning terms like multiples of fours, having remainders of one, two, and three, we'll give you the marks for this first part, okay? All right, so the second part that is important. So the first thing we hear, we see is the word hence. And this idea, the word hence is very important because it basically tells us that you definitely want to use what you just learned from the previous part to show it is true. Right now, in this case, we're asked to find the square of any integers can be written in the form of 40 or 40 plus 1. Now, there's again the key any integers, right? And the word hence tells us that we must be looking at the previous part to continue with this proof. So the previous part gave us that any integers can be written in the form of 4k, 4k plus 1, 4k plus 2, 4k plus 3. So I'm going to start with that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to assume scenario number 1 that a number can be written as just 4K, yeah? Okay, if I then square that, because we're asked to find the square of any integers, we know that can now be written as some kind of 16. Now, remember, the key is that we need to be able to write this as some kind of four times T. Not too bad, because I can write this as four times right? Now, it might seem like it's something that we're reaching, but that's exactly how we prove things, because we can then say that 4k squared can be t, which is some kind of positive integer. So therefore, we can write it as 4k. So that's done. However, there's only one out of four cases. So guess what we need to do next? We're going to do the same thing for 4k plus 1 which when expanded will give us 16k squared plus 8k one. All right, now, the key here is now that I can obviously see this cannot be written as four times something. But with that extra one at the end, but looking at the first part, which is a 16k squared plus 8k, I can kind of see, I can factorize a four out, and I get some kind of 4k squared plus 2k, Plus one. So again, if I assume that 4k squared plus 2k can be written as some of t, which again we can tell that it is in some kind of integers, then we also have some kind of 4t plus 1. So that also worked. All right, so you can see what we need to do next will be the same thing for the rest. And we will kind of do that very quickly. The next thing we will do would be 4k plus 2 squared, which can be written as 16k squared, plus, in this case, 4 times 2, which is 8, so 16k, and then plus 4, which can be written as 4 times 4k squared, plus 
k plus one. So this whole thing will be my t. Finally, the last one, 4k plus three, same square. So again, as you expand that, you get 16k squared plus 24k plus nine. All right, this is a little tricky one because I can see in this case, there's not a simple plus one at the end. So what I need to do is write this as 14, 16k squared plus 24k plus eight and then plus one. And you can see I can then factorize the four out. I get 4k squared plus 6k plus two, everything plus one. Again, that's going to be my t. So we have proven that every single integer can be written in the form either 4t or 4t plus 1.